There's an infinite amount of ways you can style a search page. I'm going to step you through some of the possibilities and get you familiar with where to find many of the functions. Here we have a generic search. The first thing we notice is that each field is on its own row. Let's put them into some columns. On the back end, we see our search setup. Remember that the top part is the view search area, and the bottom is the view output area. We can see this structure in the navigator. So this row adds functions and blocks to the search area, while this row adds them to the output area. Since we want to add a block to our search, we'll choose this button, Add Other Blocks. When we click it, it adds a row. And then we hit the plus button to choose the type of block we want to add. I'm going to add a container. And then another container within that, which we'll use a bit later on. OK, now we'll add a new block inside the two containers. Make it a heading. We'll make the title Search Tours. And let's make it an H1. That's the largest of the default heading sizes. Great. Next, we'll add another block. We'll make it a grid and select a three column layout. Next, we'll take each of our search elements, highlight them, and drag their handles into the three cells, filling them up. Now we have to decide where to put our Submit and Clear buttons. I'm going to place them way over to the right-hand side. Let's add another grid inside our right-hand grid. And let's make it two columns. Drag the Submit button to the right and the clear button to the left. At this point, let's save and see what it looks like on the front side. Hmm, not bad, but let's play with it a bit. Let's highlight the Submit button, go into Style Settings. We'll change the text alignment so the button sits flush on the right-hand side. And we'll make the background a deep blue. With the clear button, Let's change the name to Reset. Let's also align it all the way to the right within its cell. And if we go down to the border, we'll make it one pixel thick. We'll give the text a blue color. And while we're at it, we'll go up to the Text Search box and change the title from Search to Text Search. All you need to do is click in and type. OK, let's see what this all looks like. This is looking nice and clean, except we need some spacing before the results come in. It looks a little bunched up over here. So we'll go to our first outside container, go to the Additional Styles tab on the right-hand side of the screen, and add in 50 pixels to the margin at the bottom. You might want to be a little more conservative with that number, especially if you're aiming for smaller screens. OK, this is all looking nice. Now I'm going to completely mess this all up by changing the concept and adding a picture to the background. We'll see how this affects all of the styling we did so far and how we can change and restyle everything to adjust. First, let's make use of our outside container. We'll add a background image. Notice that it defaults to settings that cover the container, horizontally and vertically centered. Let's look at it on the front. We see the typical problem that comes up in all graphics. It doesn't matter if you're making a movie poster or a website. We have dark type over a dark background, and it looks ugly. We can choose a lighter background, or brighten this one, or several other solutions. But for this tutorial, we're going to try brightening our front elements and keeping the background on the darker side. On the back end, we'll change our heading to a rusty orange color. It picks up the theme from this hiker's backpack. 
Jumping to our first search label, we'll also make it white. Plus, increase it to a medium size. Let's do that for all the labels. And we'll save and see how it looks on the front of the site. Well, that's heading in the right direction. Let's go fix the Reset and Submit buttons. Selecting the Submit button, we'll go to Style Settings, and we'll make the background color similar to the heading color. We'll add a one pixel border. Selecting the Reset button, we'll go to Style Settings and add in a background color. We'll just use the default gray color. And make the text white. And that border that looked good earlier needs to change. We'll change it from blue to black. And I'm also going to change a little more of the spacing between the rows. Find the grid that's inside our main grid that has the reset and submit buttons. There it is. We'll turn on the margin padding and add 30 pixels to the top margin. Okay, taking a look on the front, it's working pretty well. The labels fade a little into the background, but well within bounds. If we were really concerned, we could darken the background a little more. But I'm going to take this in another direction. See how the picture stays within the same width as the rest of the page? Let's see how we would look at full width. First, let's select our outer container. And in the Advanced tab, we'll make the container full width. Just a side note, that depending on your WordPress theme you're using, some of them require you to go into the theme settings that specially allow for full width elements. You'll need to check your theme if what I'm doing here doesn't work right away for you. Okay, looking on the front, we see that everything stretches too far. We'll need to contain all of the elements inside the box, and that's why we created the second container. Now we'll select the inner container in the navigator. Go to Inner Content. And we're going to make the maximum width of this container to be at 1090 pixels. That's the number where everything is sitting in this particular theme I'm using. Your number might be a little different. Okay, this looks nice. As I scroll up, the whole page moves as you would expect. But I'll show you one more trick. Again, we'll navigate to the outer container and in the background tab, where we first loaded in the picture, we see a button for fixed position. This will lock the background photo in place on our screen even if we scroll. Looking on the front, we see what this does. It's a cool effect when you want it. This shows you a lot of ways you can approach styling your search screen and take it to the next level.